Hi, how y'all doing? Saturday, the 22nd of June, 2024. Saturday. The skies here in Ontario, Canada are cloud covered. I guess it started raining last night. And yeah, they've completely covered the sky all day. So there must be a mothership up there. All right. They don't want us to see it. Um, it's raining. It was raining like off and on all day. But the clouds never went away. They stayed pretty much the same. And when I got up in the rise, there was a weather report, right, alert, whatever, saying, you know, chance of flooding and flood zones and, oh, excuse me, how much rain there was going to be and everything like that wasn't much. Right, they tell you in centimeters and millimeters to try to make it sound more, but it's not if you do the math, right? Convert it. So yeah, I haven't seen any birds today. I've had a pretty quiet day. My son that lives here went to his girlfriend's yesterday, and I'm glad for it. I am. Um, I enjoy my peace and quiet. So yeah, my eldest son called me for some reason today. But he forgot why he called. He, so he was like, how are you doing? And I, he was just making a small chit-chat. And I was like, no, I'm okay, right? And he says, okay, well, if I can remember what I wanted to tell you, I'll call you back. And I said, all right. You know, and that was the end of that. So his brain's getting re rewired too, right? And then my third son, he stopped over to get his laundry, right? He brought it over last week just when the, the heat started, when it got really hot into the 30s. I think it was last, oh goodness, I can't remember, Monday, Tuesday. And I just got to it today because the heat broke yesterday, right? The temperature was 19 today, so not very warm. So yeah, he came and got his laundry, bought, brought me some milk and some water, and I got, asked him to weed my little garden bed out front. It only took him like, you know, three minutes because it's a little, little garden bed, right? And, uh, yeah, so he did that. He says he's going to come over tomorrow, bring his son, because it's his birthday tomorrow, Marshall, right? He'll be a year old. So I hope he does. His mother was having a birthday party for him in Huntsville today. It's a couple of towns away, and, uh, it was outside, and she said it's okay if it rains because there's tents and everything. Cause she advertised, put it on Facebook for her friends and family. And I went after I got up in the rise, and I was just like, nah, I'm not going to go set out there in that damp, wet weather. It's the fibro in the body is not going to be happy because my fibromyalgia, the fibromyalgia started flaring up today with the essential symptoms, right? I can never figure out which one's which anymore. But, yeah, I started getting, last night, pressure in the head here. Almost felt like a headache, right? And my uh, spine, where my chest is, right, started hurting. But you see, that's tricky because I fell down and broke my chest bone when I was pregnant with my last child. <coughs> so it acts up, it will scar, right, on the inside. And I'm getting older, so I'm not sure what's happening in there, right? But yeah, obviously this video is about my ascension symptoms, so if you don't want to watch it, go on. You know what I mean? But yeah, and then my knees, my legs are aching, right? And a couple of my fingers, my wrist, my ribs, just different places in my body, they're really weak, aching. And I was like, what's this all about? And then I watched an ener I, I listened to an energy reader today. And she said that this is a symptom, an ascension symptom with the planetary alignments and all that stuff, right? With the bones, aching bones and whatever, because we're getting upgrade. Things are changing in us because the energy they're pumping off of the sun and the planets and all that fun stuff, right? Do you know what I mean? 
it's to, for the betterment of us. A lot of people are going to be the naysayers and the fear uh, mongers, right? But that's not the way my life goes. So, yeah, it's ascension symptoms. It is. Same as different tastes in my mouth. Your appetite meat might be different, you know. Stuff like that. Ears ringing. My ears were ringing pretty loud. Especially my left. But yeah, I've just been trying to find things to resonate with today on YouTube. Finished my son's laundry. It was like a few loads, right? Quite a bit. And yeah, that's about it. I thought I should go to the grocery store, but my body just didn't want to do it. So I was like, alright, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. It's supposed to rain all night, right? There's like a 90 to 100% chance of this continuing throughout the night and into tomorrow too. It's supposed to be like this tomorrow, maybe thunderstorms tomorrow. Yesterday, I noticed a lot of air traffic overhead. And that's not usual for my area, right? Well, you don't know, but I'm telling you. Okay? A lot of air traffic. So now you know. In my mind, my imagination is doing this funny thing. Whenever I hear uh, air traffic above, I picture UFOs going by disguised as plane, making plane noises. Because you can't see them because it's cloud covered. So they're going to make plane noises or helicopter noises or jet noises. Right? I find it different, you know. I'll sit here and in my mind I hear it, I heard a plane, a jet or something earlier. And I pictured myself, I pictured a disc going across the sky up there, pumping out the fake sound. Weird, right? Yeah, it's weird. I guess that's a child in me wanting to play. But who knows? I could be hitting on something that might be a fact. I'm not sure. I don't have the proof, so I can't say it's a fact. I can't. Schumann's not posted. Again, well, yesterday it was posted, but posted late. What was it? 24 yesterday. So I wonder what it is today. How are you feeling? What do you think it is? Higher or lower? So I had energy, but I did want to lay down too. But it's also the rain and the pressure, which is the enemy of fibromyalgia, is the low pressure, right? So I'd say it was lower than 24. Shall we make a guess? All right. Thank you, Yuhura, for commenting on my video last night. It means a lot to me. It does. So, I guess you could say I'm making this video for you because I didn't know what else to talk about, right? And you said you enjoy my information, but listening to me talk. So, thank you for your comment. All right. Hopefully I'll find something to watch that expands my consciousness. The full moon. See, I haven't been emotional at all. My emotions are pretty grounded, balanced. But then I haven't really have, have had anything affecting my life other than my youngest son being a little narcissist. A little vaxxed narcissist, right? He's changed. He is. He was putting on a friggin' play there when he first came back, being all nice and helpful and everything, and now he's right back to his old behavior, right? Being messy and just not a very nice person to talk to, right? Being judgmental, just, I really see the dark. I noticed, too, on his phone, he's got the friggin' uh, pentagram, a red pentagram as his screensaver. And I was like, uh, how come you got that on there? And he didn't say anything to me, right, about it. So, hmm, strange. I'm suspicious. I, um, I wonder if you're unjabbed. Do you notice if you, any of your people that you care about or got the vax? Have they changed? Right? Have they gotten worse? Let's say. Hmm. Put it in my comments. Let me know if I'm the only if I'm not the only one experiencing this. But yeah. Alright. 
We'll see if I can figure something else more interesting to talk about tomorrow. If I make a video tomorrow. We shall see, right? Right. Since I only talked to two people today, two of my sons, I thought I'll get on here and practice using my voice again and talk to y'all. Right? Yeah. Alright, stay hydrated. Relax. This is tough energy we're going through with this ascension. All this uh, solar stuff. Mother Nature. Whipping up, a st whipping up storms all over the realm. Right? Trying to kick the dirt, off, the, the dirt off. Let's call them dirt. Right? The they. Peter, what's his name? Santiago or... I can't remember, but he's a YouTuber, a travel adventure guy. He did a really good video today. He got a con a lawyer, an attorney, constitutional attorney or something in D.C. and did a, a tour with him. And uh, the constitutional, the lawyer or attorney just ripped apart D.C. He took him around and showed him what it was really like. And it's corruptville. All the people there, pretty much corrupt. Go along to get along, niggers. You know? Yeah. Hmm. Anything for the money, the prestige, right? I gotta have more. I gotta be better. At least I think they are. They're really not. But this is what school and society has taught them. It's not about character. It's about what you got. That's what they think. Right? It's not what I think. So, yeah. I've had guys try to impress me with their money, their fancy cars and their houses and their prestige and their vacations. It does absolutely f nothing for me because they all have low character. That's it, right? They sell their mother out. Yeah, I'm looking for somebody with morals, with high quality, with good character. So, yeah. It is what it is. And I'm okay with being me. I am. Just like you should be okay with being you. Because you're unique. Nobody else has your fingerprints. Or your personality. So, okay. That's enough. I'm sending you love. Good health. And joy. Alright. We'll get through this together. We can do it. All right. I love you all as a consciousness. Enjoy this night or day. Okay? Okay. I wave you away. should always wave energy away. Bye.